He had a very large tumor. When Dr. Sue Nielsen Gall saw images of the tumor near Ryan Sikosi's heart, he knew they had to act quickly. It was almost four or five inches. So just to give you a sense, it's, it's the size of, of your two fists put together. dyes to make cancer cells glow to help surgeons see what to remove. Whatever is glowing needs to come out now. Singal was inspired by the idea of glowing tumors about a decade ago. begin to see the difference. So this part is cancer and this is not. As Singal operates on Sukosi, something unexpected shows up that didn't appear in scans ahead of time. The cancer's grown into the lung. So we're gonna take a piece of the lung out too. Jacobs, an imaging specialist at the National Cancer Institute, thinks that dyes can dramatically improve patient care by helping to remove all of the cancer while sparing healthy tissue. Some cancers, it's very much more important than others to not take any more than you have to. Up to one third of women having a lump removed end up having a second surgery after tests later show that some cancer was left behind. This is a problem. Uh, it's not only expensive, it's debilitating, it's upsetting, it's all of these things, and you know, the patient has to undergo yet another surgery, sometimes even more than one. Singal believes using the dyes in this technique could give patients a better chance of survival. Now it's almost like we have bionic vision and we can start to scan the area, making sure that we've removed everything. Giving doctors a new way to hunt for hidden cancers. Mm -hmm.